Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Hopefully you guys are doing really good today. Um, today is actually a me day. I am going out shopping by myself for the first time since summer started and um, I'm excited. I haven't really had a chance to go and just kind of browse the stores and take a full day to just look around. And I have been looking for particular things for a few projects I have coming up, some decor and stuff. So that I would share a little shop with me. Um, I also just got a package in the mail. I, just, I literally just grabbed it off my front porch as I was heading to the truck. Oh, these are pretty. So I ordered curtains because I'm gonna be doing a makeover in my bedroom. So my bedroom now, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just really not decorated like the way I want it to be decorated. And I think for a while I went very minimal because I was just kind of overwhelmed with a lot of projects I had going on. So I just stopped decorating my room and I would pull things from there to use in other spaces. Y'all know how it is. I, I do that all the time. I always like steal things from each room of the house to like make a different space work. But I really wanted to darken up the curtains in my bedroom and I found these from Walmart for really inexpensive. It was a set of two. They are 80 inch by 95 inch in length. They're actually really nice. They're supposed to be blackout curtains. I'm very curious on how these are gonna look up on the wall. They're a lot shinier than I expected them to be online. They did not look shiny and they did look like dark brown, but this actually might work. Um, if it doesn't work in my bedroom though, I can use these in my like office space, which is another project I'm working on. Um, and I will be sharing all that really soon, but we're going to go today, just kind of get out of the house, get, you know, get away. I need a break from my home. <laughs> so let's go and have some fun. Okay. So I made it to my first stop. This is a like big thrift store, but this is the type of thrift store where there are individual sellers. So they have like little booths that they have like tags on and whatever you purchase goes to that seller. So I'm gonna walk in here and take a look. A few things I wanted to mention that I am, why is it so red? What is happening? I don't know why I'm red. I don't know what's happening. It's okay. We're just gonna roll with it. Um, I'm looking for stuff to go on shelves. So shelving decor. Um, I need some more stuff for my bookcases so that way I can like mix and match and change things up. I'm also looking for frames because I have a few gallery walls that I'm gonna be putting together in my house. Um, I've been painting too, so I'm gonna. I need to find some frames to put my own paintings in. And um, what else? So I have frames, just decor for like shelving and anything that's really inexpensive that I can flip and turn around and sell for a profit to continue to buy, sell, flip, if that makes sense. So I'm, I'm trying to like get into that again. I absolutely love flipping furniture. I just never really had the time um, recently, but I'm gonna make time because I enjoy it and I feel like if you enjoy something, you should always find a way to make time for those things. But anyway, let me get in here and see what I can find. These are cool. They're bookends. I like those. I just, I feel like I can make these myself. I love this. I feel like it's like a good statement piece. But I love the colors. Should I get it? I think I'm gonna get it. It's a nice rug. I wonder how much that is. Ouch. Please do not touch. Ooh, this is beautiful. Look at this. I love that mirror. Oh, I love the detail on it. So, so pretty. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, it's like a little entryway with hooks. 
How nifty. There's the sconces in there. Twenty dollars. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I just happened to see this from a distance. It's a desk for $15, but how cool would that be as like a nightstand? You know, like you don't have to worry about sticking stuff in the drawers. <laughs> Cause I'm so bad about putting stuff in my nightstand that I never even use. I think this opens somehow. Oh, they have it nailed shut. How weird is that? Oh no, this side opens. I gotta move this. Kind of creepy. Check it out. But for fifteen dollars, this thing is solid. I like it. Not too bad. They have all kinds of stuff in here. So this is like one of those stores that take forever to walk through because there's just like so much to look at. But I love it. Like, see, like this is like another little booth. I've noticed that a lot of stores that are like thrift stores here in Florida are like this. Well, they'll have like little vendors, I guess, that they pay like a, um, a fee for rent and then they just sell their stuff for them and they take a profit, you know, they take a little a piece of that. Um, what am I trying to say? They take a percentage of the sales. Oh, look at this little teapot thing. How cool. I like it. How much is it? It is five bucks. Not bad, not bad at all. I am totally obsessed with things like this. I love this. It's so pretty. It is $28. See, stuff like this worries me though. I don't think I would ever like to have something like that in my house just because like fire hazard, I don't know. I'd probably have like my husband take a look at it make sure it was safe but I love stuff like that it's really pretty and this is where I always find really good books for like styling on shelves and stuff because they're cheap so, let's keep going the lamp base that's cool five bucks for that Oh wow, these are awesome. Oh, I love these. They're super heavy. We have 12 and I think this one was 10. Dang. Hey y'all, it's me. I am hopping on to tell you how much I regret not buying those candlesticks. So now that I'm watching the footage back, I'm noticing that there is a white piece of paper right in front of my face that says 25% off Erica's booth. Yet I didn't notice it and I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, I don't know, should I pay that much for the candlesticks? And now that I see that they're 25% off, that is an awesome deal. I could have got both of those candlesticks for around $16, which I feel like, there's a mosquito, is... A deal that I should not have passed up so I may be calling to see if they still have them and I might make a trip back I like that green base that's pretty I like the shape of it it's a perfect size it has some texture $18 though it's a little high for a vase like that but it is pretty Ooh, look at the coffee table that would be like a quick easy project but it's a hundred dollars I like the shape of the legs. Pretty cool. Okay, let's keep going. Come this way. Here's that um, bed frame. Still here. Looks like they dropped the price a little bit to 150. Lots of cool stuff. It's like so hard to show you guys everything because there's just so much. These are neat. Oh, it's a light cover. <laughs> I'm thinking like, it wouldn't be cool just as like decor on a shelf though. 
Oh, I see. I love all the detail and stuff like this. How pretty. Oh, look at this frame. Wow, that's beautiful. It's huge, though. Way too big for anything I have. Um, these are pretty, too. These would be easy to paint and turn into a better looking like color because it's like brown I think that would be really pretty like with some gold on it it's $18 for that though all right so this is $13 and I love this because let me spin it it's like chipped and cracked and looks so authentic and on the bottom there's like cursive handwriting like someone actually made this themselves y'all see that pretty cool I think I'm gonna get it okay hit the frame jackpot this one is five dollars hmm Oh, this is the same one I already have. $2.50? Sold. <laughs> I'm taking it. Okay, stopping really quick to give you a, a little update on where I'm headed now. So I'm headed to a Salvation Army, um, and then I think I'm gonna head to a different part of town just because I feel like I have shopped these same stores over and over again and I'm not finding anything like that really blows my mind, you know? Um, I did find some good stuff though at the last thrift store, so I'm happy with the stuff that I got. Um, they were just like things that like, just really stood out to me, so I grabbed them. So yeah, I'm excited. It's nice to get out. I don't know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit this Salvation Army, stop at a gas station or something and grab a drink, because I am thirsty. I didn't bring no drink with me, and that is not like me. I usually always have like a big cup or bottled water, um, but I didn't bring anything, and I am thirsty, so. That's my plan. Um, and then, yeah, we'll head to the other side of town. I kind of want to go to Hobby Lobby just because I haven't been in so long and I'm just kind of curious on like the stuff that they have because it's been forever. But let me go because I'm driving. Okay, y'all, so I just got out of the Salvation Army and I didn't film a whole lot in there just because every now and then when I am out shopping and I'm filming things, there's always that uncomfortable feeling that people are staring at you while you're filming. And while I, like, I'm so proud of what I do, I love what I do, I also get extremely nervous out in public filming. <laughs> I just don't ever want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I don't want to have that like, hey, you don't, you can't film in here type of conversation. I just panic. So if I start to get looks that people are not into it and like, you know, what is she doing? I just turn off the camera and I don't even put myself in that uncomfortable position. I'd rather not. Um, and that kind of happened. But the lady was super nice. We ended up having a conversation. She's the new manager there because I noticed that this store is looking great honestly she's doing an amazing job and i wanted her to know that because i felt like i stopped actually coming to the store because i i cannot shop in complete chaos like i can shop in chaos but it can't be like to the point where you're scared to buy something because of other things that are in the area like without being like rude i like i'm trying not to like sound like rude but at one point this salvation army just had so much stuff in it and it just was not worth what they were selling a lot of things mixed with nice things and 
bad things that you probably can catch my vibe I just started to feel like it just wasn't a store that I felt comfortable shopping at and it had this distinct um, wet moldy smell it does not smell like that anymore so that's nice I do feel like that she's done an amazing job at cleaning it up and anyway we just had a conversation because for some reason everything I pick I like would pick up there was no price <laughs> if I saw something I liked I'm like I have no idea what the price is so I had to ask her um, and eventually after like the third time I finally brought up like hey the store looks great you know like I I can tell it's under new management and she's like I am the manager so that was pretty cool to get to talk to her and kind of just let her know like the store looks so much better and I'll definitely be back um so that's cool but anyway I'm rambling and I'm like parched parched is that even a word parched that is a word that's like when you're super thirsty look at me trying to use big words <laughs> oh man I'm so funny I'm not funny at all <laughs> I'm honestly extremely awkward and I think that's what makes it kind of giggly and funny but Anyway, I gotta go get me a drink. <laughs> I'm parched. Oh man. Um, I need some water and a Coke. I'm really craving like a soda right now. I don't know why. Please don't fall, camera. Please don't fall. But my truck kind of like jerks. It just wants to speed everywhere it goes. Anyway, let's go um, get a store, get a drink, hit the next store, and just kind of keep on finding things. It makes me excited. I was really hoping to find like some type of furniture piece to restore, but I didn't have any luck. So that's a bummer. I did find a free dresser on Facebook Marketplace though that my husband and I are going to go get. Um, it's a decent dresser. It needs some work though, but it's for free and I can do a makeover on it and sell it. And I thought it'd be really cool to share with you guys. Um, but to be honest, around here, oops, around here, you can't really make a profit off of selling and flipping furniture. I was like doing a ton of research last night. Oh my gosh, y'all, these houses are gorgeous right here. They're so pretty. Oh, I love that one. I would show you guys, but I don't wanna. Oh, this home right here. Wow, they have a beautiful flower ring. I would love to show you, but I feel like that would be kind of rude to share other people's houses online. Um. What was I saying? I got distracted by the beautiful homes. Oh, the profit. You can't really make a big profit on selling furniture around here because like people don't want to buy it. Like I feel like the past couple times I've tried to sell a piece of furniture for like a decent price, the most I could get for it for like was was like a hundred bucks. So not a very good I don't know where to go. I'm lost. Let's just try this way see if we can get out this way I can't get over how beautiful these houses are over here I want an old house I want to buy one of these old like Victorian style homes I think they're just freaking stunning and I would just oh, I would do anything to restore something like that if I ever got rich if I ever got rich that's exactly what I would do buy one of these old homes and just restore it all right, it's lunch break time. I ran through McDonald's and I got a bottle of water and a Coke so that way I won't be thirsty. I also got myself a double cheeseburger and a small fry. So that's what I'm having for a late lunch. Um, I wasn't gonna stop and get anything. I was just gonna eat later for dinner and just kind of like skip lunch because it already had gotten so late, but I started to get kind of hungry. And there's nothing worse than like being out shopping and your belly start growling and then you start to feel like kind of just tired. So hopefully this gives me some energy so I can stop at a few more stores. I wanna go um, to this one thrift store, it's huge. They usually have like a nice variety of frames and like decor for shelves and stuff. So I wanna go there. Um, but I'm also looking for like bookcases because I have this plan for in my office and at the moment right now, it's actually gonna be cheaper for me to build it myself, unless I can find affordable bookcases to kind of just like modify. So we'll see. I'm just gonna go take a look. Plus, this one um, antique mall that I like to go to, they have like really pretty antiques that are really reasonably priced. So, I'll take a look there too and see if they have anything good. So that's the game plan. 
why is it focused or why is it focused why is it not focused um just made it finally to the antique mall and i got a random question for you <laughs> let me know in the comments if you ever park wrong right you pull in you think you're good and then you step out and you notice that you are very much so on the white line do you immediately move or do you just leave it if the parking lot's kind of empty <laughs> i'm just asking because with this truck i swear like I know how to drive, obviously, but every now and then I'll pull into like these tiny little parking spots and my truck's just too big and it will not fit in between these lines. And like, I'm pretty close to this person right next to me. Like you can see we're pretty close. Our doors could touch, but I'm on the white line over here. I'm leaving it. I'm just curious on what you would do. Not me. <laughs> Y'all, this is an old chandelier. Vintage brass, brass, hundred dollars. Wow, that's gorgeous. Look how beautiful. That's how good I want to get with painting. I'm gonna paint something like that one day. I wonder how much that is. A hundred and ninety-five dollars. She's a beauty, though. dollars pretty cool pretty pretty cool I love the color of this there's me <laughs> Ooh, look at the piano so cool okay let's keep going because I came here for one specific thing Ooh, look at this dresser. How pretty. It's crazy. This store, you just can just find so much stuff. $349. Oh my gosh. I want a dresser like this so bad. $279. Not too bad. Like these bookcases right there. I wonder how much those are. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. Still cheaper to build on myself. Oh, there's more. Look at all these bookshelves. I'm determined. Ooh, this one's nice. Well built. This might work. Okay, so this dresser right here is $189, and that is honestly not a bad price. It's in really great condition. So, I don't know. I, I took the tag off of the bookcases right here, and I'm going to see if they'll come down uh, on the price. And if they do, I'm going to get it. So, I'm getting it. They won't come down on the price, but um, I feel like it's solid. It's the exact size I want. I just gotta modify it. So, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm buying that. But that concludes my shopping trip. I'm just gonna take a look around at this point um, and just kinda browse, but I've done hit my budget. Oh, look at that. How cool. Let's see, let's go this way and take a peek. That cabinet, it's on special sale. How much are you? 265. Hmm. Oh, look at the vintage fan, how neat. like that oh gosh there's just like so many things like you don't even know what to look at there's so much to look at oh look at this like a little sculpture looks like a little alien <laughs> the baby it's an alien with a little baby so so beautiful these would be really pretty oh look at these how much are these 
$5.98. Not too bad. Wow, that's pretty cool. 10 bucks. What else catches my eye? The blue hand. <laughs> the blue hand caught my eye. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Ooh, look at this little cart. How cute is that? Well, fancy, it reminds me of something from like Aladdin. Pretty neat. Okay, y'all. If you don't like a rant, skip ahead. <laughs> hmm. But I'm honestly a little frustrated. And I want to share with you what happened because this is life and like I feel like a lot of times I show like all the highlights but not things that like frustrate me during like shopping and stuff like that. And this is just one of them. So <sighs> I shop around for a while and I decided to buy the bookcase. After I decided to buy the bookcase I walked around for a little bit still checking out other things before I decided to leave and you know get the bookcase and stuff. So I get to the register and I'm like I hand her the little tag and I'm like, I decided to go ahead and buy the bookcase. She's like, okay, cool. So then I'm like, well, how, who can I get to help me load this into the back of the truck? And she goes, she turns around and points to this sign, a random sign. Now keep in mind that there is like a million things in this store. So me going into a store like that, reading all their little individual signs they have posted everywhere is not likely. I mean, how often do we read all the signs that we see? We just don't. <laughs> There's a whole other story about this too, about a woman telling me that I should have read the sign. You got <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other story for another day. But um, anyway, so she points to the sign and it says employees due to um, insurance, blah, 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 blah. Employees are not allowed to lift heavy objects. And I'm thinking to myself, like, how is that even a thing? Like, how can you run a store but not help people load the things into their vehicles that they want to purchase? It makes no sense. I was like, well, never mind. Um, I won't be purchasing the bookcases today, I guess, because there's no way in heck I could get that big behind bookcase into the truck by myself. There was just no way. Not that I couldn't lift the one side of it. I just couldn't do the whole thing. So that sucks. That's my bad story of the day. Can we all just take a quick moment and appreciate the good music that these stores play? I really wish that I could leave in more video clips, but a lot of the stores around here like blare their music, but thankfully, usually they're pretty good stations, so I don't mind it. Take a peek back here and see what they got. Oh. This has been sold. See what they got back here. So I just noticed they actually have a lot. I wanted to make sure the prices were all the same. Okay. So back in the truck now, I got just a few things from that store. Um, at this point, I think I just want to go into Hobby Lobby and just get some inspiration. I love the Hobby Lobby displays. I always think they do such a great job at like putting all, like coordinating things together. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm already out. <laughs> Might as well. I'm going to call my husband though and let him know that I'm not going to be home by dinner time. Because <laughs> I'm out shopping my heart out. So. I'm gonna let him know, um, and I will see you guys over at Hobby Lobby. I'm just curious on how much these mirrors are. 50% off. Oh, jeez, this bucky's hard to push. Okay. Wow, look at this one. This one's nice. Okay, about 50 bucks. Ooh, this one's pretty. 249 Not too bad if you find a mirror on sale. Let's go this way. Oh, here's that. Oh, here's the ferns. Oh. 
Why am I so zoomed in? No, stop it. <laughs> Don't come closer. Get away. Um, so I'm gonna stop. My last stop is Ollie's. I'm gonna run in here and take a quick peek at the curtains. I need curtains for my office. So I'm gonna see if they have any. Like I'm a full matching set and go from there. Usually they're pretty inexpensive. So we'll take a peek. If not, I'm trying to get out of here pretty quick. I'm getting, I'm getting tired. And I got a lot of stuff to unload still. Oh, these are great for like laundry baskets. $7.89 for those. Y'all, I just got a super good deal at Ollie's. I'm so excited. I actually wasn't even gonna stop because I'm getting a little wore out. I swear thrift store shopping and just shopping in general is exhausting. It's mentally draining more than anything. I mean, it's a little physical because you're getting in and out, and grabbing things and pushing a cart. Um, but for me, I feel like it's more mentally exhausting because I'm always trying to look at the price and decide, is it a good deal or not? Do I need this? Where can I put it? And then my mind starts racing and then I start thinking about the projects that I have coming up and it's just a rabbit hole. <laughs> so I wasn't even going to stop here. And then something was like, you know what? Just run in real quick. See if they have any curtains because that's one. Of, that's the reason I wanted to come here. Um, I need curtains for my office and I need two sets because there's two windows in there. And y'all know curtains can get so expensive. Heck, I just bought some for my living room and dining room and I spent a pretty penny on them curtains. While they're absolutely gorgeous, I just wasn't willing to splurge that much because the current office space is a temporary solution. It's just because we have the extra space right now. Eventually, my kids are not gonna wanna share a room anymore and I know that, so I'm kinda just using, the, utilizing the space as an office slash workout room, but I know it's not long term. So I didn't want to invest a lot of money into the room. Um, so anyway, I come in here and I ended up finding the most beautiful curtains. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. They're like satiny looking, the same as the curtains I have in my living room right now, but they're not as dark green. They're greenish gray, but not as dark. And I actually like them a lot. I think they're gonna be beautiful. And I have a steamer now, so I can like steam all the wrinkles out of it. I'm just so excited. And I do have a few uh, makeovers coming soon. One in my bedroom, I wanna redo the office. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, I got something for the dining room. <laughs> I can't wait to share that. But anyway, I'll be sharing all the stuff that I got in one big haul because I have quite a few things and I really just wanna kinda sit down and share with you guys what I love about each piece and how much it was and where I got it. So I'll film all that separately, um, but I'm tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home and hang out with the family for the rest of the night. Um, we're making ribs tonight for dinner. I think Dylan already has them going and I am starving. I can't wait to tear these things up. Okay, so I made it home. Oops, sorry, it's bright. Um, just in time to hit the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck was pulling in as I was pulling in. So we got ice cream and we're currently making dinner right now. I just cut up some red potatoes and I'm popping those into the air fryer. Um, this air fryer is great, by the way. The Drew Barrymore line, I got the white and gold one and it works great. And then we're also having cabbage. Baby doll, these ribs look so good. Mm -hmm. How they taste. <laughs> ow, ow, that's my foot. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're so good. Can I have a bite? No, you may not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's kind of hot though. Okay. Here, so take a little it. piece. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Super good, huh? Well, I'm gonna close out today's video here. I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. I hope you enjoyed hanging out while I went shopping today. Stay tuned for the next video you see. I will be sharing a haul on all the stuff I got and things that I've accumulated over the past couple weeks, getting ready for these upcoming makeovers that I have. Um, I can't wait. I love to just refresh my home and change it up on a budget. And I feel like I got some awesome deals. I will be sharing a full haul on all the home decor, all the things, sharing with you price, where I got it, what I plan to do with it. So that'll be a fun video um, that I'm excited about. I love doing hauls. They're just so much fun and just to talk about, I don't know, each thing and why I got it and what made it stand out. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that one when it comes out and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a quick moment, give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel tremendously. Leave a comment down below and I will see all of you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.